Algebra 1, Lesson 11. This is on reciprocal and multiplicative inverse, and then order of operations, and then identifying multiplication and addition. So, let's break this down real quick. Um, you learned reciprocals several years ago, but let's just kind of review. The reciprocal of two-thirds is three-halves. Basically, you're just changing the numbers around. The numerator becomes the denominator. The denominator becomes the numerator, <clears throat> okay? The reciprocal of one-fourth is four over one, or just four, because four is four over one. I don't know if you remember that. So, if you were to see three, what's the reciprocal of three? Well, we know that three is really three over one, and so the reciprocal will become one over three. Okay, that's just a quick review. But what about negative numbers? Okay, negative reciprocals. For example, negative 11 fourths. Okay, you don't even pay attention to the negative. Okay, it's still, you're still going to find the reciprocal of just the numbers. So the reciprocal of 11 fourths is 4 over 11. And since it's a negative number, it stays a negative number. That doesn't matter. It, um, changing the reciprocal doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. You're just always going to keep whatever sign it is. So when you were doing positive numbers, 11 4 became 4 over 11. Okay? Just like negative 11 fourths becomes negative 4 over 11. Okay? So it's the same um, rule. Um, but I just wanted to review the negative ones um, for just a minute. Okay, but what about this one? This one might seem a little bit hard to you. Just negative 5. What's the reciprocal of negative 5? Well, hopefully you remember that negative 5 is really negative 5 over 1. So then the reciprocal would be 1 fifth with a negative because it's a negative number. Okay? Um, now let's move to... Oh, let's do share this. I do want to share this with you, okay? If you take the reciprocal and multiply them, you will always get the answer 1. And what I mean by that is, if I have 4 over 1, which is 4, and I multiply it by its reciprocal, 1 over 4, you will always get the answer 1. Because 4 times 1 is 4, and 1 times 4 is 4, and 4 out of 4 equals 1 whole. Always equals 4. Um, even if you were to do 12 over 5... Um, times 5 over 12. 12 times 5 is 60. 5 times 12 is 60. And 60 out of 60 is 1 whole. You will always get the answer 1 um, for the answer. Uh, okay, just a quick little remember uh, memory thing. All right, now let's do order of operations. Okay, um, sometimes you'll see a problem like this. 4 plus 3 times 2. Okay, you might look at this and think, oh, I can do this in any um, order I want to, but you cannot. Okay, the correct way of doing this is always following the PEMDAS rules. Okay, do I have any parentheses? No. Exponents? No. Multiplication or division? Yes, I have a multiplication problem. 3 times 2 is 6. And then adding or subtracting left or right. I'm just going to bring down my 4 plus. So my answer is going to be 4 plus 6, which is 10. But, this is the correct answer. But, if I were to take 4 plus 3 times 2, and I just worked it from left to right without following my rules, 4 plus 3 is 7, and 7 times 2 is 14. Those are not the same answer. This one is incorrect, and this one is correct. So, you always want to make sure you're following your rules. All right, let's do a little bit harder problems using this PEMDAS. Okay, um, 4 times 3 plus 2 plus negative 3 times 5. Okay, hopefully you see there's two different multiplication problems here. This 4 times 3 and this negative 3 times 5. Okay, now... Um, I do want to show you something first. Um, whenever you're working with this, always write down PEMDAS. Okay? And as you can see, there's no parentheses or ex exponents. But is there a multiplication or division? Yes. Okay? And so what I want to encourage you to do is try to look at this problem and see what you have first. So I have that multiplication problem. 
and I have that multiplication problem. Even though this one is 4 with a dot 3, that means multiplication. And this one's negative 3 times, you see the parentheses 5, that means multiply. So hopefully you saw that those are both multiplying. So I'm going to do the work. 4 times 3 is 12. I'm just going to bring everything else down. And negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. All right. Hopefully you see um, what we're doing so far. And now... We did multiplication, there's no division. Now we're going to add or subtract from left to right. Okay, so 12 plus 2, 14, plus negative 15, and the equal, it's going to equal negative 1. Yes, it is. Okay, so um, that is how you would do those problems. And make sure you're knowing the rules on what to do if you have a, a negative number and a positive number, you're going to subtract and take the sign of the biggest number. Hopefully you are remembering that, okay? Um, let's do another one. All right, following PEMDAS, do you see any parentheses with problems in it? No. Any exponents? No. Any um, multiplication or division from left to right. I do. I see this one and I see this one. So negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. I'm going to bring everything else down. And then 6 times 3, 18. All right. And now I do like to change my minuses to plus negative. If you've worked with me before, you know that that's what we do. Okay. And now we're just going to go from left to right. Negative 10 plus negative 3 is negative 13. And negative 13 plus 18, and we're going to end up getting 5 as our answer. Okay? All right. Let's go and do one more of these just to make sure you're getting it. All right. Here's what it says. 4 times 3 minus 2 times 5 plus 6 minus 5 times 2. Okay, now, again, you want to look for your PEMDAS and you no parentheses, no exponents, multiplying or dividing. Yes, I see some multiplying. This one, um, 2 times 5 and 5 times 2. Okay, now, these are minuses, minus, okay, because you have to have something in between the number 3 and 2, and that's a minus, and then something in between the 6 and a 5, and that's a minus. We're going to change those to plus negative in a minute. But let's first work the problems. 4 times 3 is 12. I'm going to bring down my minus. 2 times 5 is 10. I'm going to bring everything else down. 5 times 2 is 10. Now, once you get your answers, now you're going to take your minuses and change them to plus negatives. Okay? And here we go. 12 plus negative 10 is 2. Plus 6. 8 plus negative 10, negative 2 is our final answer, okay? Hopefully that all made sense. All right, last thing we're going to do, and this is the C part in, in uh, lesson 11. And um, basically they're wanting you kind of what we just talked about briefly. Um, but let me go ahead and do the problem they're wanting us to work with. Basically, they're wanting you to see that what separates this 4 and this 3 is a minus, and this 5 and this 7 is a minus, and this negative 6 and this 4 is a minus, okay? So you're just going to multiply everything that you see, because we're still following the PEMDAS rules, but they're, what they're wanting you to notice is that we're not changing these yet until after we do all the way through to the A and the S at the end, okay? So P's are not any, E's there's not any, multiplication there is. So we're going to take 5 times 3 and get 15. We're going to take 7 times negative 6 and get negative 42. And I'm going to put that in parentheses since we have a negative number. Okay? And then I'm going to take 4 times negative 5 and take that and make that negative 20. 
And now I'm going to pull everything else down so that minus. Pull that down. Pull that down. All right. And this becomes our new problem. Do you see that? All right. And I do like that I did parentheses right there because that makes that a little bit easier. So any answer you get, you can always put it in, uh, in parentheses. It just helps. Okay. Now I'm going to change all my minuses to plus and change the sign to the, of the opposite. Plus positive. Plus positive. And now you're just going to work from left to right, okay? 4 plus a negative 15 means you're going to subtract, and we're going to take the sign of the biggest number, negative 11, plus, that's a 42, plus a 20, okay? And now when we finish all this out, we're going to take this and go um, negative 11. Let me look at something real quick. Yeah, okay, so far so good. All right, and so then we're going to take... And we're just going to finish this out, and we're going to end up getting um, 51 is our answer. Okay? So once you take um, negative 11 um, plus 42 and then add 40 to that, you're going to end up getting 51. Okay? Final answer. Now, I did a lot of these. I just skipped because this should all be review, but I'm just showing you how to make sure you're doing this. That's kind of what this one's about. All right? That is lesson 11.